we made, uh, LA County Lifeguard Association made that so that we would have something that lasted beyond uh, this art exhibition, which unfortunately is going to wrap up at the end of September. So, um, Ed, Bernie, I just want to say that um, I've been overwhelmed by how contagious your enthusiasm for this project has been. Uh, the ability to encourage participation and to help share with and support others has had a huge impact on myself and everyone that's been involved uh, and able to participate in this project. One of the ways that LaCola decided to support the project was to sell a t-shirt celebrating Summer of Color 2010. Um, they were sold to lifeguards and junior lifeguards and their family and friends. We sold over 700, so hopefully you will see the fish motif on a giant lifeguard tower on the back of your friends and families around town and um, it'll help for the project to live on um, before the towers go back to their standard blue color in October. Okay. So through the shirt sales we were able to raise a thousand dollars for Portraits of Hope so they can continue to do the work like this in other communities. Um, I want to thank Ed and Bernie, Portraits of Hope family, all the generous sponsors, volunteers, participants, and everyone that had a hand in making this possible for including the LA County lifeguards in this project and letting us share in the Summer of Color 2010. Um, I'm Bernie Massey. This is uh, Ed to my right. I also want to introduce uh, Don, Renee, and Denai, who have worked uh, hundreds of hours with many of the youth throughout the LA County. Supervisor Kanabi, Supervisor Yaroslavsky, who really helped champion the effort. Um, as Frank mentioned, uh, there have been 6,000 kids throughout Greater Los Angeles, Special Olympics, Rancho Los Amigos, the Braille Institute, many schools, social service institutions throughout the Greater LA area who've all been part of this project. Um, the panels uh, come down in October. And traditionally what Portraits of Hope does, and you can see how nice they look on the beaches, we donate them to social service agencies, principally in the region that the project takes place, and then we send them abroad to different regions that have suffered some sort of uh, natural disaster. So many of these panels that are on the lifeguard towers now will end up in Haiti, but many of them will, will end up at different social service agencies in here in Southern California. One thing I would invite all of you, if any of you are involved with either child abuse centers or special schools, even religious institutions, youth programs that you think could use some beautification, senior centers for either their interior or exterior settings. Beginning in late August, we're going to start allocating where the panels are going to go. Please go to our website at portraitsofhope.org if you have any suggestions, and we'll make sure that they get some panels. Um, I'll, uh, the program, for those of you who don't know much about it, it went beyond just the public art piece. So it was intended for creative therapy for children in hospitals and uh, social issues education for kids in schools. It's really about the power of teamwork and collaboration. We've really enjoyed working with the lifeguards and the junior lifeguards. Frank Bird has helped organize many of the different groups that have participated. We're hoping that those of you who are working in the different towers this summer are enjoying working in a, in a uh, work of art. And uh, uh, we're just very appreciative. So thanks very much for the donation to our program. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy Summer of Color for the rest of the summer. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait.